Keyed Services is a new .NET 8 feature which finally sees a dependency injection update. It allows for adding multiple implementations of the same service into the IOC container defined by a key. Stay tuned as we show you how it works and how to download a code example for it. Remember to hit the subscribe button or go to youtube.com slash at roundthecode to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're looking for a job as a .NET developer, check out our C-sharp coding challenges. Go to roundthecode.com slash challenges. With .NET 7 and versions prior to it, we were able to add multiple implementations to the same service. Here we've got the iOld vehicle service interface, which has been added twice, one of them for the car service implementation and the other for the motorbike service. The iOld vehicle service has a property with the number of wheels. In the car service, this is set to 4. In the motorbike service, it is set to 2. However, to inject all implementations of the same service, we'd have to wrap it around this i enumerable type. We then have to go loop through each one and return the number of wheels. This will give us a response as 4 as the first index in the array and 2 as the last index. That's because the car service implementation is added first to the IOC, followed by the motorbike service. If we were to inject the iOld vehicle service, it would give us the last implementation that was added to the IOC container. This gives us a response of 2. That's because motorbike service is the last implementation added to the IOC container from the iOld vehicle service interface. With .NET 8, there's these new extension methods added to the iService collection. For the scope service lifetime is add key scoped. There's also one for the singleton and transient. Within that, there's a service key parameter. This is a type of object, so it can be a string or an integer, for example. To inject a key service into a minimal API endpoint, we need to add this from key services attribute. Within it, there's a parameter where we have to specify the key. For this one, we specify car, so it's going to inject the car service. That is because we've added the car service implementation with a key of car. This one will be motorbike because we're using the motorbike service with a key of motorbike. If we run that minimal API endpoint, we can see it's returning the correct number of wheels. It's a similar story with MVC and Web API endpoints. Once again, we need to add the from key services attribute and specify the key. This will return the number of wheels depending on which implementation that we're using. It's also possible to get the key service instance from the iService provider. Here we're injecting the iService provider into this Web API controller. In order to do that, we call this get required key service. There's also a get keyed service if you just want to return null if there's no instance. Within both of them, there's this parameter where we need to specify the service key. We can see it's returning the correct response. .NET 8 was in preview when this was recorded. To use it now, you need to download Visual Studio 2022 Preview. If you already have that installed, you need to update your preview version to 17.8. You also need to make sure that you've got the .NET 8 SDK installed. Make sure that it's version RC1 or above. .NET 8 is due to be released in November 2023. When it's released, update Visual Studio 2022 to version 17.8 or above. Also make sure you've got the full version of the .NET 8 SDK installed. To download the code example for this tutorial, go to roundthecode.com slash code hyphen examples. Thanks very much for watching and hit a like on the video.